For centuries, orichalcum existed only as a word, a mysterious metal mentioned by Plato, said to shine with a reddish-gold glow and decorate the palaces of Atlantis. A symbol of something lost, something impossible. But in 2015, that changed. Off the coast of Sicily, near ancient Yela, a team led by Dr. Sebastiano Tusa uncovered a shallow Greek shipwreck lying just three meters underwater. Buried under centuries of sand, they found its cargo still intact. 39 gleaming metal ingots, each cast with almost perfect uniformity. And here's the twist. These ingots were 2,600 years old. Laboratory tests at the University of Palermo and the University of Padua revealed a composition of 75 to 80% copper and 15 to 20% zinc with traces of nickel, iron and lead. In modern terms, alpha-phase brass made through a deliberate cementation process, a level of metallurgical control scholars never expected from the 6th century BCE. Before this find, historians believed true brass wasn't produced until Roman times, but Gila proved otherwise. Dr. Tusa called it a truly exceptional discovery. Nothing comparable has ever been found. And then the headlines exploded. Atlantis's lost metal found underwater. Archaeologists were quick to caution. There's no inscription or direct link to Plato's Atlantis. The resemblance lies in the color, composition, and age. Not in the myth, but still, the coincidence is powerful. A metal once thought fictional now pulled from the seabed real and shining again. Whether it's connected to Atlantis or not, one thing is clear. The Jela shipwreck is one of the most important metallurgical discoveries of the 21st century, a moment where myth finally meets material. Follow for episode 3 